8.1 Sequences and Summation Notation Preparation Part 1 I've listed out a bunch of properties for solving exponential and logarithmic equations and we are going to use them. The first example we want to go over is solve 3 to the x power is equal to 12. So we want to get that x and the exponent down from there. Okay. And one way that we can do that is we can take a natural log. But whatever we have to do, we have to do to the other side, right? Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. This would allow us to bring this exponent x down to the front. So now we would end up with x natural log of 3 equals natural log of 12. Next, we want to undo the multiplication of x by the natural log of 3. So we divide by the natural log of 3. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. These, natural log of 3 cancels out with natural log of 3, leaving me natural log of 12 over natural log of 3. And that's about 22, 2.261859. Five and or no, so three decimal places. So third decimal plate is a one. To the right of it is an eight. So we would end up with two point two six. And since eight is larger than five, we'd round the one up to a two. So this is approximately two point two six two. Next problem is solve e to the zero point zero zero three x power is equal to forty. So let's bring that down e to the 0.003x is equal to 40. Now, because there's an e here, we want to use a natural log. And what if we do to one side, we do to the other. So we take a natural log of both sides. And that's so I can pull this variable to the front. And that gives me 0.003x equals Let's put in that extra step there just to make sure. The natural log of E equals to the natural log of 40. Now, the natural log of E is simply 1. So it just goes away because 0.003x multiplied by 1 is just 0.003x. So we end up with 0.003x is equal to the natural log of 40. Next, we want to get rid of or undo the multiplication of x by 0.003 and we undo that multiplication by dividing by 0.003. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. The 0.003s cancel out, leaving you x is equal to the natural log of 40 over 0.003. And the natural log of 40 over the nat of 0.003 is equal to 1,229.0. 6264A, and so on and so forth. Now, since we are only trying to approximate the solution to the three decimal places, we are interested in the third decimal place over here, which is a 6, and next to it is a 4. Since 4 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we round down. If it was 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we would round up. So we're going to be rounding down. So this is approximately. 1,229.626. Factoring notation. Factoring notation means that you are multiplying all the way up through that number. So zero factor is equal to one. This is just something you want to memorize. You want to memorize this first one that comes in, comes up once in a while. Factor one means we just multiply by one. Uh, 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1. 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and so on and so forth. The pattern repeats. So we just want to understand this pattern. 